I'm Annie Strick and I'm from London and I founded Art Sisterhood UK which puts on affordable art therapy classes for women. So Art Sisterhood um, is a sort of non-profit organisation charity um, that I founded last year um, because we have quite a serious issue in the UK with uh, mental illness. We focus on emotive themes, feminist themes, political themes that force that forces everybody who comes to the classes to like process how they feel on things, things that they might not have thought about or might not wanted to think about. And uh, I just wanted a space where I could go and do art um, address my mental health, feel good about myself and be able to make new friends and support other people and have them support me. Throughout my life I've been oppressed by men and I feel like the patriarchy still really exists in the world and I feel like um, the oppression that women feel um, has a massive effect on on their mental health. It has on my mental health. If, if men didn't exist, I wouldn't have mental health issues. I don't want to feel patronised by anybody. So I started Art Sisterhood to create my own space for what I wanted for myself that didn't exist in this country and didn't exist in London. And I was pretty surprised that it didn't exist already. start the classes off um, what, by welcoming everybody in. Um, I've got music on and we encourage everybody to go and get a drink so they can sort of like um, just feel comfortable and um, start conversations with people and then I will introduce the class and I'll explain who I am, point out the volunteers and sort of explain that um, it's important that everybody recognises that the work they do today doesn't have to be a masterpiece, it doesn't have to be amazing, there's no right or wrong, it's just about expressing yourself. And then we have three to four large pieces around the, around the room, some are on the wall, some are on the floor, and each, each piece has a theme, like an emotive theme, so it, one might be on forgiveness or one might be your identity or something like that. Then everybody's given 15 to 20 minutes um, to work on a certain piece and then everybody switches around so that they everybody gets a chance throughout the class to work on each piece and then by the end of the class you've just got these big wall pieces filled up with everybody's interpretation and everybody's piece of art. And then at the end of the class we all crowd around the work and we talk about what we what we worked on, what different things mean, what different things symbolise, how we felt whilst we were doing it, and then we make an effort to point out other people's work that we really love and we think is really beautiful and like say nice things about each other's work. And then um, give the chance to anybody who wants to say anything about how they were feeling or anything that happened to them in the class and it's like a really really nice feeling of having this like group therapy discussion like people always um, end up sort of talking like sort of expressing themselves and then whilst they're talking they're like realizing things as they're saying it and they're like oh like I didn't even know I felt that about myself I've been through so much pain through my mental health and I feel like now I've sort of done something that can help other people uh, in a small way, I feel like maybe that my pain and suffering wasn't in vain and that I've gone through all of this bad stuff to create something really good and beautiful and that makes me feel really good about myself. Um, which is amazing for my mental health. I've discovered that art therapy is just a really incredible way of, of helping 
people with their mental health. We've had people come in like crying and then at the end of the class they're just laughing and dancing around and really happy and it's just it's just amazing to see how art can bring people together and heal people. Cool. Hi, so I think oh no. <laughs>